Hi everybody and welcome to Josiah is Right. So normally I do an on-camera bit here, but you get my disembodied head instead because I've been a little bit sick and it's more about I don't feel like setting up the camera and all that stuff to show you trading cards, which is what I'm going to do. So have a look at my trading card collection and enjoy. So you can see here, Marvel Series 1. This is my all-time favorite card series. I wish I had more of this collection. I absolutely love these cards. It was what got me into card collecting, which I didn't do for that much. I could collect comic books still, and I don't really collect cards still. Most people don't, I guess, but um, this set is my favorite. I don't have that many. This is everything that I have from my childhood. This is it. I would like to kind of start going back. Maybe, you know, this will sort of spur me on to collecting the gaps in my collection but you'll see here there's not a lot of gaps after that so marvel series 2 which is probably my second favorite set honestly because again this was the one that i was able to collect really thoroughly because once that first series came out it kind of came in late to the game and this was the one that was current when i was collecting at that time so you can see here the art style i like compared to kind of some of the later stuff that you'll see just really quickly here but this is one of the sets that I have a complete set. I don't have like any kind of chase cards or anything for this, like the holograms or whatever might have existed for this line. But I have every single regular card, that Rogue one. I love that costume, that era. Just a really cool time for uh, her, that look. It's my favorite look for Rogue. But like I said, this set, I have the complete set. And it's my second favorite, less because of the art or the cards or anything, but just because of the nostalgia for it. It kind of elevates what the first one did, but the first one, it really is a throwback. It feels very 60s. It feels like what a card set would have been if Stan Lee did it in the 60s with the original Marvel, but it's kind of the Marvel modern characters. These ones were always fun, especially as a kid. Now I kind of could care less, but as a kid, these kind of told me the story of what different comic book series and big crossovers and things that I hadn't read. This filled in a lot of those gaps, which was really, really important for a kid that had limited time to read comic books, limited budget really more than time. I certainly had the time. This was one of the cool ones about this series, sort of the gadgets and gizmos and the devices in the Marvel series. At the bottom there, you'll see some cool cards, the Legends, that Craven one, these dead characters. So, And then, of course, teams. It's always interesting to see the team at that time. And here you can see X-Factor and the X-Men and how those teams would change not too long after these card series. I guess that's one downside to a card series and upside, maybe. And here is another set that's probably a personal favorite, X-Men, the Jim Lee series. This is a really fantastic one. And skipping ahead there, there's some random stuff, G.I. Joe. And here is the Marvel Series uh, 4. I don't have any Marvel Series 3, weirdly. And I think I traded away my Marvel Series 3 cards to a friend for a different series. Maybe it was that Series 2 or something that I have a lot of, or the X-Men series. I'm not sure why. Like, even X-Men Series 2, a lot of cards that I know I have that I just don't... But this one is not a complete set, but it's pretty close to being complete. I have a lot of this one. There's, you'll see there's a missing corner here and there, but this one is... I wouldn't... It wouldn't take me much to complete this set. Maybe that uh, should be a, a goal to fill in those card gaps and actually get all these images created and finished. The thing is, this just really isn't my favorite set. I don't hate it or anything or dislike it. I just don't like it as much as the other ones. And honestly, I'd rather collect Series 3, which I do not think I have any left. Unfortunately, I do not know what happened, but just don't have them. I have a lot of these too, a lot of duplicates. So I actually make business cards out of duplicate trading cards. And the business card's really simple. I just print out my info on a piece of paper or a piece of sticker paper and just glue it to the back. And like I said, I have a lot that are made out of this series. A lot of Terminator cards, different things, movie cards, stuff like that you can find cheaply that I already have. And then occasionally if I come across the card set or a card pack that's affordable, and I use it for that because since I'm not collecting it, I don't want to pay quite as much as I would otherwise. But again, you can see all the battle sequences and things. And that's my card collection.